Welcome to Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Leslie Crudup, owner of the Business Liaisons Incorporated. Leslie, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm, I'm so happy to be here. You know, Thank we you. were, uh, my pleasure, my pleasure. I really am glad that you agreed to be on the show. Mm -hmm. And we were talking earlier about Philadelphia is known as a city of brotherly love. Mm -hmm. And some people may not know that it's also called the city of sisterly affection. That's right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and there is an African-American entrepreneurial sisterly affection network that is going on and you are a part of that yes and yeah. very happy to be yeah. I must say yeah. yes it definitely uh, it's uh, an environment that you'll want to definitely uh, in dive into because there are a number of us particularly african-american sisters that are that have that entrepreneurial spirit and it is so nice to be able to embrace that with you know as a group to help empower each other to help each other when times are hard and um, there's so many challenges so I'm very fortunate to be part of that group and anyone that is an entrepreneur that's looking for that avenue you need to find that network you need to find that network of sisters that you connect with because it's the one thing that sustains you at least I found absolutely and business is you, you face the challenges and mm -hmm. there are also times to celebrate and so having that group of people that can help you celebrate the small successes and the big successes be partners as you're walking towards those successes that's all really important yes absolutely yeah. absolutely now I want to ask because several people have asked me and I said oh I'm gonna let Leslie tell the story <laughs> how did you come up with your business name I mean the business liaisons I mean that's it almost probably says what it does but why yeah why that name? it's funny a lot of folks do ask me where do I come up with the business liaisons and I always say the business liaisons L-I-A-I -I, because a lot of folks are not necessarily sure how to spell it mm -hmm. uh, but liaison in French does mean um, a connector a negotiator mm -hmm. somebody that's an administrator and of course the business mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of reasons how I came up with it but primarily because I like connecting Mm -hmm. um, my business is business consulting, but I enjoy connecting. Anybody that talks to me or anybody that I engage with knows that I'm always in, you know, passionate about what it is that they do and always want to find an avenue or a way that they can connect with someone else. So mm -hmm. it actually took me down this path where different avenues of my business, whether I'm trying to promote somebody to um, work with someone else or putting some collaborative efforts together, it's about meeting. It's about meeting, mm -hmm. networking, connecting, and building together. So there's how I came up with the name, the business mm -hmm. liaisons, and most people do see that it usually comes with a symbol, which is a mm -hmm. butterfly. Mm -hmm. It is a custom designed butterfly that my brother, who's a graphic artist, actually did for me. Okay. A lot of folks don't know there's a lot of different hidden symbols in there that I've never had a chance to talk about. Oh, well, this is your chance. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going to give you one minute, and folks know I will time you. So, okay. So, so tell, tell it's us about very, the symbols. It's very quick. So okay. the color Colors, of course, are the blue and gold, which mm -hmm. represent not just the sorority that I belong to, but they actually, actually are my favorite colors before mm -hmm. I even joined the sorority. Mm -hmm. So that's in the logo. And a lot of folks don't know, if you look at my logo sideways, it actually has an L mm -hmm. for the top of the head. So that's Leslie. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things that my brother did do for me. And I like it because every time I look at it, it reminds me of me. And it's mm -hmm. me and it's my business. So. Mm -hmm. Folks ask, and I've never had a chance to, to tell them, oh, so thank you. I love <laughs> it. I love it. You know, Significant TV is all about the stories, the stories of the entrepreneur, mm -hmm. the stories behind the entrepreneur, and the stories of significance. And mm -hmm. you made a choice to become an entrepreneur. Yeah. What was that significant moment that helped you decide entrepreneurship is for me, I am going to do it full time, I'm in it? You know, it, when... I hear that question. Uh, there are two things, two mm -hmm. aspects of my life. One was um, my father passed away not too long ago, mm -hmm. and uh, long story short, well, I shouldn't say that was maybe ten years ago, mm -hmm. but when he passed, I was in the middle of obtaining my master's degree. So my father, um, fortunately, wasn't around to see me obtain my master's mm -hmm. degree, and so one of the things that I always wanted to do was to do something in honor of him. And he was, in his own right, somewhat of a business 
business owner. Uh, he had his own business. He did his own uh, thing with title insurance. So I just wanted to do that. The number one thing, however, is the birth of my daughter. Mm, because it's just the first thing that I can think of is legacy. I, I needed to leave her something from me. And what better than a business? Or even the fact that I started a business. Mm -hmm. Even the fact that I engaged in doing something that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. So that's very important to me. So I show her every aspect of what I'm doing. Well, how powerful. And that is the number one reason why I decided that entrepreneurship is for me. Mm -hmm. And since I've dived into it, I've loved it. So, <laughs> but she is my biggest inspiration. Oh, that's <laughs> powerful. You you use the word dive, and your logo has butterfly. How do you <laughs> how do you fly in your business as a connector, drawing on the French word? How do you how do you, you know, really help people go from being that caterpillar to that? their own butterfly in business? Well, I like to think when I, I network, and I enjoy networking, mm -hmm. as you know, um, I like to think that I'm, I'm just open and honest, and I'll ask mm -hmm. you the same questions that you're asking me. You know, what is it that you're doing? What empowers you? What motivates you? And I guess in any conversation, someone can always see something that you're not able to see, or maybe they're able to identify something that you should be doing with your business that you weren't able to identify. And so for me, I tried it a couple of times. That's how I started doing this. And then I realized that, you know what, it's nice to have somebody just talk to you about your business and they identify that key thing. Like, you know, I never thought of that. Mm -hmm. And so how great is that 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 person gets to walk away with something that they can do now that will catapult them? Mm -hmm. So I'm like a catapulter. I guess. Ah, so <laughs> connector, <laughs> catapulter. So yeah, I enjoy yeah, that. Yeah. I enjoy the conversation. Mm -hmm. I enjoy trying uh, springboarding. I enjoy um, what they say, just looking for that vision and doing mm -hmm. that brainstorming. Mm -hmm. So that's like one of my biggest pieces, I guess. Or and and I again, I attribute that to just the fact that I like to think that I'm really approachable because I will laugh and talk and mm -hmm. laugh and talk before mm -hmm. I get to the point, but I'll eventually get to the point. Okay. <laughs> Well, being expressive, you know, they say that communication is over 60% body language. So the yeah. laughing and talking, people can see that. People can feel that. Mm -hmm. And then it's tone. And then it's yeah. what you say. So that, you know, being a great communicator is s sending out that signal yeah. that you're approachable. Yes, and, thank and you. And that, that definitely, that definitely <laughs> is clear. So you're passionate. You certainly have a purpose. What are some results that you're really proud of? that you'd like to share with folks so they better get to know you and your business. Wow, I guess, you know, um, the one thing, of course, it, it may be hard to, to fathom is that I've made so many wonderful connections with mm. so many wonderful women to which I look to them as inspiration. Mm. And it is all inspiring to me when they actually look to me. Uh, so I know we chatted a little bit before this interview and we mentioned some of the names and I said, you know, these are all, they're like my sheroes. Mm -hmm. And so even when one of them may ask me for an advice or to collaborate with them, I'm all struck by that. Mm -hmm. So this is fabulous. So that to me is one of the biggest things that has been, you know, a great, um, uh, I guess, I guess I could say that's one of the things that I didn't expect, but Ooh. it was such a nice and beautiful surprise. Yes. And so it empowers me. It empowers me to just motivate folks to do the same thing. Um, some of the other successes, which really kind of stem around that, is that folks do know my business name. They may know the logo. They may know the name. Mm -hmm. They may know a little bit about me before I even meet them. Mm -hmm. And that's such a nice, nice feeling to have. Yes. And I attribute that to the hard work that I put in because it's, it's tough. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, it's but. But I'm, I'm thankful for that because there's always that piece of you where you think that, well, I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is going to work. But if you don't try it, mm -hmm. you'll never know. Right. So I right. think there's a quote that says, you know, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Totally so. with you on that. <laughs> totally with you. <laughs> Some of our viewers are probably going to call me up and say, you know, Leslie was talking about starting a business 
because she wanted to leave a legacy for her daughter. Mm -hmm. And then you also mentioned that you share a lot with your daughter. What are some of the tips in terms of starting a business, running a business, mm -hmm. having the stamina within a business, um, being a great connector that you share with your daughter? Oh, with my daughter. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things which is which is key for business and then especially for her is organization mm -hmm. um, and just to have a purpose and to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I'm always challenging her with is if it's something you enjoy, try it. Mm -hmm. Try it, try it. So if you're passionate about something in business, then don't sit by the wayside. Don't sit by the sidelines and wait for somebody else to, and then the next thing you know, you're watching TV and you're seeing somebody doing something, you say, I could have done that. Mm -hmm. You know, if, you're, if you have a passion for it, go for it. Organization is key mm. because you have to have some structure. And I would say, and I've said this a number of times to business uh, folks, when you're starting your business, especially when you have a lot of different pieces going on, it's okay to make a calendar. Do a week calendar. Oh my goodness. Monday through right. Saturday and just attribute each day to something different. Whether Monday's just for networking, Tuesday's just for writing, your, working on your business plan, um, you know, Wednesday's just for being with your daughter, showing her your business, networking, taking her places, which folks do know that I always have many me with me. Mm -hmm. um, if you have that type of structure, that also keeps you a little grounded mm -hmm. and makes you feel as if you're actually accomplishing something with not feeling inundated. Mm -hmm. That's helped me, and I've actually done that underneath my vision board and look mm -hmm. at that daily. And for any business, whether it's a product or a service or what have you, the structure and being passionate. Wow. You know, very powerful. And the reason I was intentional in asking you, what would you share with your daughter? What do you share with your daughter? Because since you said she is part of your passion, I knew you would share with us the, the, <laughs> the true nitty gritty. And yeah. as you were speaking, I, I thought about an acronym, or I guess a description for the word open. Um, you mentioned mm -hmm. organization, mm -hmm. so that would be the O. Purpose would be the P encouragement yes. um, and people often miss that piece that's an important yeah. one and what you do you network you connect yes. um, and you are a very open person so as you were <laughs> speaking I was saying wow <laughs> this is this is part of what that's great you know like liaisons do <laughs> they, they open the door for you yes and and you really do represent your business I Thank know you. people are want going to want to get in touch with you how can they best get in touch with you Oh, thank you so much, Pam. Sure. Folks can find me. I have my website. It's www.thebusinessliaisons, L-I-A-I-S-O-N-S. -S. Mm -hmm. And, of course, folks can always find me with that same name. I am on a number of different social media platforms. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. And I'm on LinkedIn. And I'm even on Pinterest. Ooh, I that's am one I moving. haven't tried. Okay. Yes, okay. I am moving. So, okay. yes. And also, we always have an email address, which is always the business liaison at gmail.com you can feel free to email us at any time absolutely do you have an event coming up and this will be aired on YouTube so by the time some people see it, it'll be already over but <laughs> do you have an event or something coming up that represents the work that you do where people could actually participate with you yes we actually have just completed uh, a webinar it's a webinar that I'm doing on content marketing mm -hmm. So a lot of folks hear about content marketing these days, and sometimes it might be a misnomer and they're not sure exactly what that means or how mm -hmm. that attributes to their mm -hmm. business. So um, what I've done is we've put together a webinar that we're going to be distributing out to folks. We're going to be offering it live to folks to dial in and to talk, and we'll also have it available on podcasts. So we'll be... Um, promoting that on the website and we'll definitely be promoting that on Facebook so okay. you'll be seeing that. Terrific. The other um, aspect of the business liaisons that we've just newly created is what I like to call busy parties. Mm -hmm. So busy parties of course are if say if you're someone that's in business and, and you just need um, to have a conversation with us. What we try to do is make it fun and we make it like a networking party and a place where you would like whether it's in the comfort of your own home or mm. if it's a group setting um, where have you and really it just involves you or maybe three or four of your friends 
business. Um, okay. Maybe they're also in contemplating business or starting a business. And in the comfort of your own home, we talk about the aspects of starting a business and Excellent. networking and things okay. of that nature. So that's wow. coming up, and you'll see a lot of information about that. You can reach us for um, scheduling one. We've done a couple okay. already, which have been phenomenal. Ooh, that sounds great. Newly that created. Newly created. Okay. And it I love seems it. to be it seems to be a, a, a tickler, so okay. you'll see more of that as well. Good, good. Absolutely. Well, Leslie, it's been a pleasure. The time has gone so quickly. I, know. I think the next time I think I'm gonna have a series of shows with mothers and daughters. Oh my uh, gosh, mothers that and, would you know, be partners fabulous. because yeah. Yeah. Yes. So well, I will bring you back. She will be here, and she will say the business liaisons, L I A I, because that's all. She <laughs> She's got the training. Yes. That's wonderful. <laughs> well, see, folks, this this is what we're all about: significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs like Leslie. Oh, thank so, you so Leslie, much. one more time, where can folks find you? Thank you so much for having me. Yes. I truly, truly appreciate it. And folks can find me. Our website is www.thebusinessliaisons.com. And you can always find us on Facebook. You can find us on LinkedIn, Twitter, Twitter, and Pinterest. Terrific. Well, there you have it. Join us next time for our next episode of Significant TV.